Tuesday we try and bring you some uh, health tips here on the show and uh, this morning we're going to be talking about uh, a common skin condition uh, that mostly affects women I guess. Dr. Uh, Kamuri, Haribu sana. Asante. Yes, thanks for being here. Let's talk about cellulite. <laughs> Although women watching might not really you know, want to get into this topic, I think it's uh, important for us to talk about what it is, what causes it, um, and uh, what, what you can do to prevent cell having cellulite. So perhaps you can start with just defining what cellulite actually is. Okay, cellulite um, in, uh, in medical term is something we call edematous fibrosclerotic paniculopathy. Oh. I know I'm talking to myself. <laughs> However, uh, it just means um, a dimple or a hole that has been created on the skin. This is mainly because something is pulling the skin inward from inside and something else outward. Mm -hmm. And um, when the fat, as people gain weight, the fat deposits pushes the skin outward and the fibers there are some fibers that holds the skin just below the skin you know the skin has three layers mm -hmm. there is the the outer layer and then there is the fiber layer and then there is the fat layer the fat layer now as you increase in weight the fat layer pushes the skin outward but the fibers don't move so the fibers pull downwards and the fat pulls upward okay. that difference causes a dimple mm -hmm. and that's what people call Cellulite. That's what we call cellulite, or what we, in medical term I said is edematous fibrosclerosis paniculopathy. Wow. Paniculopathy just means abnormal fat uh, being deposited. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a total difference between cellulite and cellulitis. Cellulitis is an inflammation because of uh, deep tissue, because of the bacteria. Cellulites are not life threatening, they are actually purely only cosmetic. Mm. They are not of any clinical consequence. However, many people don't like them mm -hmm. because cellulite make you, make you not have the normal contours. If you want to wear uh, skin tight uh, attires, gym, you see those dimples. So that's why people get worried about cellulite. But in terms of a clinical outcome, they are of no consequence. So no, not life-threatening or anything like yes. that. So why is it that uh, cellulite occurs more commonly in women? Well, <laughs> I know this will punch at people. <laughs> it happens common in women because it's women who are more fat than men. Pure. Okay. Uh, simple. Cellulite will never get you if you are thin. If you don't have fat deposits, you will not have cellulite. Mm. However, some people genetically are more predisposed to cellulite than other people. Okay. But cellulite, as I said, is actually a condition for the fat people. So if you don't want cellulite, don't gain Stay weight. Stay thin. <laughs> Stay, don't gain weight. Don't gain fat. Actually, not even weight, fat. Mm. Mm. Don't have fat and because of fat distribution, the way some people's fat is distributed, and that's why the common parts where you get cellulites, it's either the thighs, the, the buttocks or the gluteal region, and sometimes some people get it on the, on the abdomen. And mm -hmm. some people who are little fat, they can also get it on the upper arm. Mm -hmm. But you will not get, you cannot get cellulite on the, the leg down there because there is no fat. There's no fat mm -hmm. deposits there. You've mentioned genetics. How, how important does that play? Uh, how important is genetics in, in all of this? And what role does it play? Like if, you know, my mother had cellulite, am I Yeah, let's try, is, you see, the way you, the genetics play, the way, the way your skin behaves, the way your body behaves is controlled by genetic factor. For example, if you are people have this tendency of getting fat, the chances are you will get fat. So you need to do something to stop that. Mm -hmm. If you have that, the way the deposits, the fats are deposited, then you will find you, your fat will also be deposited like that. For example, if your family, you've seen there are people who get fat only on the arms mm -hmm. so that you see, again, that is genetic. You've seen people, there are people genetically who get fat on the abdomen or there are people also, they are, their future is behind. <laughs> <laughs> so you will see if you have that tendency, then you will definitely find that the cellulite genetically will affect uh, those areas. Yeah. Mm. I want to talk a little bit more about uh, some of the risk factors. You've talked about weight and, and, and genetics. Uh, but, uh, you know, how, how is, is this like a condition that is supposed to be diagnosed? Is it something that you just notice yourself or how does that work? Well, <laughs> as I've said, cellulite don't pain. 
they don't itch, they don't change color. In fact, they are of no clinical problem. Mm. So that's why you will not go to a doctor and say, look for cellulites. <laughs> In fact, if you are those people who love the massages, people will have seen the, and uh, if you are those people who examine yourself, you will definitely see, you will see a depression that is coming and it doesn't develop one night. Mm -hmm. It's something that you will see developing slowly by slowly until you see. It's not something you will go to a doctor to look for cellulite. Mm. And the reason why also you will not go for a doctor, because it's not painful, it's not a condition, it's not a disease. Mm. So it is not of any clinical consequence. You should not be worried that you have a consequence. It's only a cosmetic issue. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's actually not real a cosmetic issue. It's only that unless you, these people who now go swimming, you are worried that somebody will see a dimple on your, on your buttocks, <laughs> a small dimple there. Or sometimes the people like ladies who like wearing uh, smooth skin tight clothes, the, the people will see. People will see the, those um, uh, in depressions mm -hmm. on their skin. But otherwise, clinically, mm -hmm. they have no issue. Yeah. So is this something that is treatable? Is it something that you can get rid of? You, you know, we've talked quite, about, uh, quite a bit about weight. So if I have stretch marks and I lose weight, or I have a, rather cellulite and I lose weight, will the cellulite go along with the weight? Or <laughs> well, well, in fact, unlike, unlike uh, stretch marks, stretch marks, whether you lose weight or not, the so stretch marks are there. They have formed, they are formed. Mm. Cellulite, if you lose weight, the, the cellulite decreases. In fact, they disappear. Mm. Because if you don't want cellulite, don't get fat. Don't gain weight. It's simple. However, once they have formed, there are many other things. People, of course, there are other juakali ways of people wanting to do them. Others want to be heroic. But the first remedy is moderate your weight. Once they come, if you see them coming gradually, you can do massage. Uh, physical massage, mm -hmm. normal, routine, continuous massage so that you try to distribute the weight. The other thing is exercise. Exercise plays a major role in managing even your skin tone because the skin, the way the fibers are organized and the way the fat are organized, all this is, can be, actually be controlled by the way you exercise yourself so that your skin, the outer skin is tight and the fat is distributed equally. Mm -hmm. The other third thing, if you must be done, there are many other things that can be done. One, nowadays we have some uh, waves. You can use um, ultrasonographic uh, waves. Or so these you, are lasers? Yes, or? they are lasers, they are radio frequency, they are UV. There are other things we actually do where you, we are giving you a shock of wave such that these waves are trying to distribute uh, those fat cells. But this is something you have to do. It's not a one-off. It's not one-off like um, you are coming, I suck the, the skin out and you are left. No. So you can do that, ultrasonographic. There are other methods of uh, even uh, laser-guided liposuctions where we can actually remove some of the fats so that you get um, an even uh, distribution. There are others you can actually uh, push something. We can harvest fat from somewhere else and we, we fix it there. We oh. push it um, up. Those are modalities. There are many ways. There are other methods like people encourage some creams. There are some creams especially of retinoic, what we call retinoic acid derivatives, which help. They are, initially they are a form of anti-aging, mm -hmm. but they also help in uh, rearrangement of the fat and, uh, and fibers. Eh? These are things that you can do. Mm -hmm. However, all those, as I'm saying, the most non-clinical and the most practical is weight management. Yeah. Does age play a factor in uh, developing cellulite or? Contrary, contrary, actually age does not. Because as you age, as you become older, as you become older, the fibers, what we said, you remember I told you the, the cellulite actually comes because the fibers are pulling. The fat is depositing and the fibers are pulling, so you leave a dimple there. As you age, these fibers become weak. That's why the skin sags. Mm. The skin is not tight, the skin sags. Uh, cellulites affect the young people because the skin, the fibers are still strong and you are still depositing fats. Oh. As you get older, 
even that fat start melting away. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so it's the opposite. So of it's what actually I was the opposite. You don't. It's not a problem that worries the older people. Yeah. It's more of the uh, reproductive uh, and uh, energetic uh, young people from 18, 16 all the way up to 30 that's when the major cellulite and even 40 now mm. Mm. yeah so we've talked about the fact that it's a, it's it's cosmetic it's not a it's, it's not aesthetic, a medical yes. yeah uh, condition do you have any other tips for prevention of cellulite or someone worried about their cellulite other than weight cuz cuz i think that's the main well, one as right? i've said other than weight uh, uh, if you have cellulite do a lot of massage do a lot of um, uh, you can do physical massage that is not aggressive. Mm -hmm. You can also, uh, if they really disturb you that much, you can see your dermatologist or you can see your, your um, plastic surgeon. They can advise you on what is uh, uh, clinically possible. However, as a caution, cellulite will never kill you mm -hmm. other than having a challenge in the way they look. But we have had cases where people are going to such aggressive um, uh, measures to eradicate them, mm -hmm. then they end up with other complications. Mm. So before you take moves on how to uh, eradicate um, cellulite, have an advice, have a discussion with either your dermatologist or your plastic surgeon. So because yeah. these are things, it cannot kill you, but the, the interventions that people do because of being over enthusiastic, mm -hmm. they end up g causing more complications than actually the cellulite itself. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's important not to make the situation worse. Yes, uh, and also it's good it. also to look at it the, the other way around. Some cellulites look nice. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's also important to differentiate between people kind of lump stretch marks and cellulite together. Yes. But they they don't. Those are two completely different they things. They are totally different. Even their, even their mechanism of, um, of uh, formation is totally different. Stretch marks now forms because of weight gain or weight loss. Mm. If you lose your weight or if you gain your weight so fast, the skin, actually, it's actually not the skin actually. The tissues just below the skin move, separate very fast. Faster than even the skin that they leave gaps in between those fibers and you get those lighter lines. Mm. What you are seeing, lines, those are what we call stretch marks. These come because of volume change. Volume change becomes because of fat increase or deposits of fast, fast moving factor. And this happens either when you get pregnant, when you become to adolescent, hormonal changes and we, we, weight becomes a problem. And those are totally different from the cellulite. Their approach of management are nearly the same because you need to control the weight. Mm. You need to control the weight. For, se for stretch marks, so far, very little is available. In fact, we only encourage not to get them. When you get them, <laughs> uh, uh, don't be cheated. I mean, but there's all sorts of creams and lotions that are sold All those creams, I'll tell markets. you. All those, it's good to be honest. The day we will get a treatment for stretch mark, I will stop working. <laughs> <laughs> because I'll just be serving, I'll just be distributing it. At yeah. Anasimama took a stage and I just give <laughs> stretch marks, stretch marks. Yeah. Because there isn't. Uh. Most of the others, we just do cosmetic. We apply, there are some creams we apply, especially those ones that are itching. You know, they get to a point even where they are, they are itching. Mm. And then there are those that help strengthen the skin so that they don't progress. Mm. But otherwise, treatment per se. We also have a laser. We have a laser and you, even now we also do have um, radio frequency or what we call in, um, IPL, uh, pass laser, where you actually short those areas. And the stretch marks may improve, but one thing I can tell you, they will not clear in a way that they will be like here. No. Wow. That's important to know. Yes, <laughs> it's important to know so yeah. that don't be cheated that somebody will perform a miracle on you yeah, and, and your you stretch pay, marks will you be pay a lot of money. Nothing. So far, for now, now when we will get, I'll come and tell You'll you come we, back have, <laughs> we have the cure okay. for stretch marks. Uh, Dr. Kamui, thank you so much uh, for, for talking to us about skin conditions this morning. I don't know if you want to share your details. Maybe someone has a question or would like well, to Well, my, my, my number is on, uh, on public domain. Um, I work for Kenyatta National Hospital. Uh, we run the skin clinic there. In case somebody has a challenge, you are most welcome. But my number is 0722 Okay. I'm on email, the same. Anybody who has a question, it's, it's good to send an email. I can always answer. Okay. My, 
my name is Kamurie at yahoo.com. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, do stay tuned here to Power Breakfast. We still have uh, the man cave coming up. We're going to be talking about money and who spends the money in the relationship. So stay tuned. Of course, keep using that hashtag. It's Power Breakfast. Good morning.